Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the types of support. So what are the different types of supports and how they can be differentiated from each other. So before going into the um, discussion or into this topic, I would like to request to subscribe my new channel. The link I have given in the description. Thank you guys. So now we can go into the types of support. There are three main types of the support. One is rural support, hand support, and the other one is fixed support. So we will go into detail into each kind of the support. So the first support is known as the rural support. So how can this support be defined? This support is generally presented by, by a small circle with some dotted or dashed lines. So this is known as the rural support. In the mechanical properties of this rural support is that it can only take the vertical reaction. It means that the vertical resistance of this support is not equal to zero, while the horizontal reaction is equal to zero and also this support cannot take the moment. What does this mean? For example, if I draw here a column and this is the one column and there is another column, for example, at 10 meter distance. So, and we want to place a beam here. And for example, I have placed a beam here on top of these two columns. So, this is now a beam, which is mostly used in our daily life construction. And these are the two columns. So, now this beam is supported by rural support. Why? Because we can see here that this beam will be resisted here by this support here, vertical reaction. And also, there will be vertical reaction provided to this beam from this side. So, one RY. RY means that in vertical direction, if I look into the axis, this is x-axis, this is y-axis. So, RY means in vertical direction, so it is the vertical resistance to the beam so now the beam load will act like this and this support will try to take the vertical reaction or vertical load similarly the load from the beam will be distributed half load to this support and it will take the vertical reaction or the vertical resistance so we can see here that our beam if i draw a beam here so now it is a rural supported beam if i draw this beam here this is the beam I draw in a, in a free body diagram. So this beam is now supported by two rural support. This is rural support and also this is a rural support. So rural support is used only to take the vertical reaction. Now in this case, there is no horizontal resistance for this beam. So that's why horizontal is equal to zero here as well. And also there is no, nothing to take the moment here. There is no reinforcement in between this support. So that's why the moment is also equal to zero. So when the vertical reaction is not equal to zero and other two reactions are equal to zero, we call such type of support is the rural support. Now let's discuss the second kind of support which is a hinge support. Now how we can differentiate between rural and hinge support? So in hinge support it is usually presented by a small triangle with a line in this and then with small inclined lines. So this is a representation of hinge support and this support can take the vertical reaction. It's not equal to zero. It, al it can also take horizontal reaction, not equal to zero, but it cannot take any movement. So the movement are equal to zero in this kind of support. So now if I take an example, so I will try to explain this again with example. So for example, this one maybe draw it here to have more space this is a column and here we have another column and let's suppose the distance between these two columns is 8 meter and also here we have another beam or another kind of girder here for example this is another girder and these two are the vertical members which are the columns here so now how to differentiate between the hinge support so now when I provide the beam here, this beam is supported here. So 
So now we can see here that the vertical load of the beam is taken by this one, by this column. Because the beam will be loaded even if it's sulfate or the um, live load, so the vertical reaction will be taken by this column. But also if there is some inclined load on this beam, then due to the inclined load, it will be vertical load. It will be split into vertical component and horizontal component. So the half load, half load will also be go into the horizontal direction. So also this there will be some load in the horizontal direction from the beam. So this girder will also take will resist this horizontal load. So now kind of we hinge support here because horizontal reaction is activated here and also the vertical. So the load it can also provide the vertical resistance to the load and also the horizontal. So in this way we can define that our support is a hinge support because because it can take both the vertical and horizontal direction. While here, if we see this one, it can only take the vertical. So this is a roller support, and this one is a hinge support because you have resistance from both the direction. So if I draw this is a simple is a free body diagram, so it will be it will look like this. Here we have column in girder where hinge support. Here is only roller support. So this was the second kind of support. So the third support is the fixed support. Third support is fixed support. Now, how we can define fixed support? Fixed support is generally represented by a vertical line and then some inclined lines and then with a straight line. So this means that this is a simplest, uh, this is a fixed support and this support can take the vertical reaction, horizontal reaction, in moment so all of these three cases are not equal to zero in this kind of support and this is mostly used also in cantilever beam where we see such type of representation this is kind of a representation for the cantilever beam so now to define and describe more this kind of support for example we have a column here a column here and we have a form work for the beam like in this case in this way and also we have a column in the we have provided the form work for the for the column in the upper direction and also here we have another beam so now what we do practically the reinforcement of the beam is going like in this direction in the beams there is reinforcement going in this direction in the beams it it might not be throughout the depth you know? and also there is reinforcement going along the height of the columns so this is the reinforcement that is going in in between the joint so now in this joint you see here if you pour the concrete here for example this is a joint and we pour the concrete here so now when the load is acting on this beam and for example this is any kind of load acting on this beam is a live load or maybe dead load so what happens due to this load there is a movement created in this joint now m because there is a reinforcement and there is a concrete in this joint with the reinforcement which are concreted together so now this will act as a fixed joint because it can take the moment of this load created from this load. This load will create the moment in this direction M, demand D, and this M is R, M R which is moment resistance. So the resisting moment will be created by this joint. Similarly when the load is acting here in this direction, so it will create the moment in this direction and it will be resistance moment M R in the opposite direction. So we can define that this support is known in the mid is known as a fixed support. So in this case, there is vertical reaction here. There is horizontal reaction from in this direction from the beams. And also there is a moment M. So three of the, these three or equilibrium conditions are not equal to zero here. So we can say that this is a fixed support. So hope you guys understand the three different types of the support, roller support, hinge support and fixed support. Now you can differentiate by taking some example and see 
which kind of resistance is provided by which member and accordingly you can define them as a roller support or hinge support or a fixed support. So hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my this channel and also the channel that I have given the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching my video.